Hey guys, welcome out to the shop today. This week I wanted to make a power tool that I've been wanting for a really long time, and that is a 12 inch disc sander. A couple of things that you're gonna need for this build, as in material wise, is some sort of motor. You can do it with power drills, different things like that, but I'm choosing a motor I picked up at a yard sale for about $10. So if you're out and about picking up a motor, one of the main things you wanna look at is this right here your rpms you want to try to get something about 1725 rpm i have a couple other motors that i could have chosen from but they're all 3450 rpms which is a little bit too fast for a sander you want more torque and less speed with the rpm another thing you can look at is also your horsepower of your motor that you want to pick up mine is a three-quarter horsepower you can choose pretty much anything you want and test them out you can always replace them with the different spindles and shafts on these motors. Another thing that you're going to want to either build or pick up is your main wheel. This one is going to actually get mounted right to the shaft of my motor and it's got a set screw right here that will lock it down tight onto that shaft. Now if you're going to make your own you can do that out of MDF any kind of other hardwood. After you've established whether or not you're going to be building your own wheel or if you already have one like I do, you want to go ahead and pick up some sandpaper. I picked this up at Harbor Freight. There's multiple different kinds of grits, but I just went ahead and picked up the 120 grit. Seems like it's most common used for most of my projects. Last but not least, if you're gonna be building something, you have got to have the main material, which is wood. This will be the stand for the motor and also the front where you're gonna be resting the wood while it's getting sanded. Right now, I'm gonna be using a half inch MDF. We're gonna see how well that does. Should be pretty stable for what I'm gonna be doing. It's not really gonna be moved around too much. It's gonna be really just like a bench top model. So this should be definitely fine. To begin this build, I want to start making my main stand for the motor, which is pretty much gonna be a box with a longer base. So I need to create a top, two sides, the back, and then my base will be a little bit longer to help with stability during the running of the whole sander. So now that we've gotten our main box already built, we can go ahead and start fastening all this together. And like I said, I'm gonna be using some pocket holes. So what I'm gonna be doing is putting three off each side on the top and the bottom.
there we have it the bench top disc sander i really like it i think that the design is really good the table doesn't overhang too much or anything like that it's not too big it i feel like it's a perfect size for resting your work on the one thing that's different about this is that this spins opposite of what most people are used to seeing they they usually spin counterclockwise and i can actually go in and mess with the wiring and switch it up to make it go the opposite way but i think i'm just going to leave it right now because it's not that big of a deal as long as i know that it's rotating that way i really debated on making this little shelf right here a tilted table and after a little bit of thinking about it i don't really know if i would ever really tilt it to get any kind of specific angle if i was going to do that i might work with hand planes or something like that so let me know what you guys think if you guys have other improvements that you guys would do if you guys actually do have a tilted table and use it regularly leave it in the comments below i would love to hear it maybe do like an upgrade to this and see what's different see how i can make this even better Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys liked the design. Like I said, if you guys have any other improvements, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.